me. You know what? Give me the hose real quick. Oh, it just went off. There it goes. Oh. Hey, everybody. It's Justin from Bittner Build, and today I'm going to play with fire. Yes, responsibly. Um, fire's fun, but not in a wood shop, right? I mean, I'm in this giant wooden filled box. If a fire broke out in here, I'm in big trouble, and my house is going to burn down. So I don't want that. Now, there are some big fire offenders in my wood shop, like a CNC machine, a laser engraver. Laser engraver burns thing with lasers. It burns stuff. So it's actually making fire. So it is a big fire hazard. And so I'm making an enclosure for that, and I want to make it as safe as possible. Now, there's materials you can build that out of that are fire proof or fire resistant, but I would like to build it out of wood because I see a lot of people all over YouTube building it out of wood, but that's not very safe. So I'm now going to explore these two other products that will hopefully make it safer. One of them is a spray that makes porous materials fire retardant. It's a class A fire retardant spray. And the other is an automatic fire extinguisher. So if a fire should break out, it should put out the fire. Um, now, I need to give a disclaimer. I'm not a fire professional. I'm not sponsored for this video. I'm not making any promises for this video. Uh, imagine all the legal jargon that needs to be said right now. I'm not making any promises or guarantees to you. Use at your own risk. Um, go by the manufacturer's directions. Uh, what I'm going to do today is take a dummy enclosure, put a fire in it, and see what happens. You can take from that what you will for your own experiences and informational purposes. Okay? So, let's burn some stuff today on Bittnerville. We can't do a fire safety video without just doing fire safety 101, guys. Make sure you have a fire extinguisher at all times. Make sure you have one in the house and one in the shop, and make sure it at least is an ABC. ABC will cover trash, wood, paper, liquids, and electrical equipment. That should cover most things. If you do other specialized things that require one of the other specialized fire extinguishers, buy that one. All right, so our next guy here. This is the Master Flame, and there's other companies that do this, and I'm not sponsored by them. It just happens to be the one that I bought that I'm going to test. And so Master Flame is a Class A fire retardant treatment. It prevents the spread of dangerous flames. For use on woods, fabrics, and other absorbent materials, easy to apply, non-toxic, eco-friendly, no PBDEs or toxins. So uh, I talked with the manufacturers through chat on this guy about what I'm doing, and they said it will be a great product for plywood and wood products. Um, you spray it on, you wait 24 hours, and it should be fire retardant at that point. So wood is a absorbent material, and if you spray liquids on it, it will suck it up. And so that's what you want to spray with this one. I've also, uh, just for our tests today, I soaked a shop towel in it. And we're going to see if that burns versus one that does not have it on there. Very interested to see the difference. It does feel stiffer than this one. So uh, it didn't change colors and I've applied it to wood and it didn't change colors of the wood either, which is very nice. Uh, this product can also, they advertise, can be 50-50 cut with paint. And so then when you put the paint on, that paint should be fire retardant based on what their claims are. So I'm not going to taste or test the paint one today. Uh, what I've done is I've constructed an enclosure. I've sprayed it down two days ago. Uh, so more than enough time. We're going to light a fire in my fire pit, then shovel the hot fire inside the unit and see if the unit catches on fire. Um, if I have to, I'll hit it with a blowtorch for a little bit, see if that catches on fire. Interested to see what happens. Um, I'm very hopeful that it gives positive results because while it doesn't prevent a fire, uh, if I were to coat an enclosure that has one of my machines like my CNC or my laser enclosure with it and it prevents the fire, if it were to break out, out in there from spreading easily, um, that gives you more time to get to it properly with a fire extinguisher or something else should it happen. So anything that is safety oriented uh, can't hurt, it can only help um, so that's why I'm testing this guy. The other product that I'm going to test, I've had in my CNC machine for two years, and I never tested it, so I'm interested to see if it works. I'm not using it per the manufacturer's recommendations. So again, remember, I told you, make sure you're using this stuff per the manufacturer's recommendations. 
Um, I emailed the manufacturer on this product. They manufacture this as a car fire extinguisher. So it's meant to be mounted to the hood of a car. And if an engine fire occurs, it will automatically go off and put out the fire. Um, to me, it was almost like a common sense thing. Well, let me put it inside my enclosure and if a fire happens, it'll go off and put out the fire again. So um, they told me that it should put out a fire in there. Cool. Um, they then also replied to me and said, it will not put out heavily like burning wood. So that's something that I'm interested in seeing here. The, the way maybe to think about it is if you have a campfire going and you shoot it with a hose, it'll put out the heavy active flames, but it's still charring there for several hours even, and it might even flame up again. So I believe that's what they were referring that it wouldn't do. This might just kind of quench it and then it might come back again. So um, again, any safety measure to protect my house is a good one. So I'm interested to see if it does something. Um, again, uh, use it per the manufacturer's recommendations and I'm not telling you that to use this or buy this. Take my example for what it is. So this is a regular untreated shop towel that I'm gonna light on fire and see how it goes. So we can see kind of as a control. See how it immediately lit on fire? It's blazing up and I drop it into the fire pit. Okay, so fun. Now we have our treated piece of paper. This was treated with that Class A fire retardant. So you can see it's blackening. Slight burning at an edge. Let's try in the middle here. I'm still holding it. There is some smoke. We're seeing smoke. There's some more fire, but it's not actively catching on fire. This is good. This is what I'm hoping for because I mean, if paper, or this is like a, a cottony type of rag paper, shop towel, uh, if this won't catch on fire, that's pretty good. So since we can't get this to burn under normal means, let's see what happens if we hit it with the blowtorch. So we're getting active flame bouncing off of it. We're getting smoke. We got a little bit of ember. Still not. I mean, this is paper, guys. So this is guys and gals. Wow. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take this treated towel and drop it in the fire now. And I wanna see what happens. You can see it blackening. Let's zoom in there. So this paper has blackened and now it's starting to catch. But man, the, the longevity of this paper being in direct fire and heat is pretty interesting. It's glowing, but not flaming whatsoever. This product is used a lot in public spaces like uh, couches and curtains inside of colleges and churches and, and big public spaces. Um, different municipalities might require a flame retardant material added to things. And so that is, is why these things are added to this to kind of inhibit the burning process. Okay, so as soon as this fire goes down to where it's safe for me to shovel some out of it, I'm gonna shovel hot coals into this box that I treated a few days ago with the fire retardant. And then I'm gonna add some more wood on it, get a fire going inside and see what happens to this enclosure. Okay, just to point out to everybody, I do have a fire extinguisher and a hose. We're in my backyard. We already wet the ground everywhere beforehand um, so that we're doing this safely. But, you know, if we're thinking about an enclosure where this is a CNC machine or a laser printer or something, 
um, there's not going to be an overabundance of wood to burn in there other than the product that you actually add into the unit to you know that you're you're working on so i'm not going to add an incredible amount of wood in here but you can see how this is already wood that's really on fire right now like it is not uh just barely there and you'll notice that it's not spreading to any of the walls or anything i'm gonna move it over right now to the side because I'm really interested to see if we can get it to spread to that wall, to start climbing up the wall there. All right, so this active fire has been going for about five minutes now, so I'm gonna move it away. It is on fire on the bottom. So you can see that the bottom plywood is burning right now. But then as soon as I took the actual fire away, it stopped burning where it was. So this product doesn't make your product fireproof, but it definitely makes it very difficult for it to spread inside that enclosure to burn everything else. So, um, you know, definitely seems like something that would help contain a fire from spreading. All right, so next we're gonna try out the Jogos wall. Um, this product is meant to be sticky attached to the top of an enclosure. And what I'm gonna do, I'm hoping the way this will work, I'm gonna put a piece of plexiglass on the upper two thirds of this box. I'm gonna shovel fire back in because I want it to act like an enclosure. We'll see if the uh, device explodes to put off the fire, uh, to put out the fire. Okay, so we have a pretty big fire in there. Let's see what happens. I'm going to keep adding fire in hopes of some action happening. Let's go ahead and throw some other wood in there. Uh, the plexiglass is bending out right now due to the fire. So this fire has been going on pretty heavy inside this box for three or four minutes. The Jogos wall has not gone off yet. I do have to remind everybody that it's not what it's meant for. Um, it's meant for inside of a car hood. It's me experimenting, just kind of seeing if this will do something. <clears throat> All right. Oh, it just went off. There it goes. Whoa. Oh. And look, it's out. Fire. It worked. <laughs> well. Oh, it's gonna work. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to touch it right now. I'm very interested to see if it reignites, but it definitely did go off. It took a lot longer than I thought it would take for it to go off. It really required the flames to hit the unit directly, I think. And seeing as this is a, a pretty large volume of space, it, uh, it took a while, but it definitely removed all the oxygen from the scenario. This box is just full of smoke right now where before the plexiglass was bending out and it was sucking oxygen in and the fire really had no problem raging while it was going on. So let's keep looking at this for a few minutes. We'll time lapse it and see if we get any flame back up. So it's been five minutes since the uh, Jogos wall went off. I'm going to remove the plexi right now just to let the smoke kind of clear a bit more. I'm not taking it all the way off. I don't want to touch it. Oh! <laughs> so, 
As soon as oxygen was reintroduced to the situation, it went back on fire again because that stuff was hot. So per what Jogos Wall had told me, you know what, give me the hose real quick. We've kind of proved our point, right? We need to turn the hose on. Poor firefighters around here, geez. All right, so what did we gather from our fine data points in my experimentation, not recommendation? Um, the fire retarding chemical, when I treated that uh, cloth paper with it, it did not want to burn. Um, it technically did, but you really had to push it to get there. And so that was a good example of the what that did to regular paper that just went poof as soon as I put a little lighter to it, like any little flame and it was gone. Um, this guy, when we used it in the enclosure, I mean, between my two experiments out there, I had half an hour worth of fire going in this box and the box didn't actively catch on fire. Um, there was some charring and on the bottom where the fire was literally sitting, it was charring quite a bit, but as soon as I moved the fire over, it immediately went out. So it didn't want to burn. It was retardant to fire. So um, I find this to be a very interesting product. I cannot recommend it to you, um, but I will say that me personally, I'm going to use it in my enclosure. Uh, I actually, I have half a bottle left. This bottle um, treated my uh, experiments. It treated my laser enclosure, and I definitely have enough to treat my whole CNC machine and something else. So this does go a pretty far ways. Um, so that's pretty cool. The Jogos wall, I can't, you know, this is a tough one. I can't give it any negatives because I used it for something that it was not intended to be used for. Um, it is meant for putting out, you know, fire engines. And a fire in your engine cavity. Yes, there we go. So it's meant for putting out fires in your engine cavity, um, not for in a wooden enclosure. It did put out the fire though. So it was out and it was staying out while the enclosure was closed. It was only once I introduced air into the situation that it relit again. So, you know, in real world usage in here, it might play an important role, at least buying me time to go get one of these. Um, it most likely would have a much quicker relight time in my enclosures because I have air ventilation systems with them. Not all CNC machines have that, so um, if you don't and it's an enclosed structure, you know, that might help you quite a bit. Um, again, this is one of those things where take from what my experiments you will uh, and make your own decisions on that type of stuff. Um, again, I always just say, hey, like any safety aid that would help my house from not burning down, it can't be a bad thing um, as long as it doesn't make the fire worse. So it didn't make the fire worse, it put it out. So uh, that's how I'm gonna look at the Jogo Swall. Um, definitely make sure you have a fire extinguisher in your wood shop, your home, all over the place because these things put out fires and it could save your life. So make sure you have one of these. They're not that expensive. Um, I hope you will like and subscribe to the channel. I do all these fun crazy antics all the time for your amusement. And so if you subscribe, you'll be able to see more of that. I've only had the channel for two months. So your likes, subscriptions, and comments help the algorithm, you know, bring me up some more. And uh, of course, as always, stay safe in the shop by a fire extinguisher, and I'll see you in the next one.